Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Today is September 1st, which means it's time to do the trading post again, but this one is extra exciting for me because it will be my 12th month of doing them, which means I'm gonna get my Warden Transmog rewards. So this is pretty much the whole reason why I got into doing the trading post. Also today, I kinda just went for a casual, cozy Halloween vibe accompanied with this mug. The sweater and the mug just came from Hot Topic yesterday, so I'm very excited about them. Who else just absolutely loves the Halloween fall season let me know down below I would like to know where my people are at anyways let's go ahead and jump on over into wow I actually have something really exciting to show you guys today I got Sylvanas's bow from the Sanctum of Domination Ray Shalar Death's Whisper I ran it this morning and it was kind of one of those mornings where I don't usually play WoW right away first thing in the morning, but I did today. I was like no makeup, just chilling, and I queued up for a Sanctum of Domination run in the group finder. Just some random people were doing it, and I freaking got the bow. There was another hunter in the dungeon. Let me actually show you because I took a screenshot with her. Um, she also had the Sylvanas transmog on, kind of like what I was wearing. So she was a fellow Sylvanas loyalist, and we both rolled need on the bow, and I felt kind of bad, but I won it, and I've only ran the Sanctum of Domination, like, three times in my life because I have a really hard time bringing myself to killing Sylvanas or just fighting her. So I felt bad that I got it, but I also needed it, like, I mean, come on. Sylvanas of the Undercity, the Banshee Queen. I got the Bat Pets. I got the Undercity Plague Bat. Like, I'm convinced that the vibes is what made me win that. So that was amazing. I literally, that's just so exciting. Um, the only thing that that does have to do with the trading post, though, is that um, I have completed a little tiny bit. I usually wait. Um, but I was just feeling like playing WoW early in the morning. So I've already done, what was it? I guess like the 20... The five raid bosses and the 20 raid bosses, which has already gotten us up to 150. So that's where we're starting at today. Um, let's go ahead. I, I had to come to the Undercity for the vibes with my bow, but let's go ahead and hearth back to Orgrimmar and go get our traders tender catch and check out everything that is there. I'm kind of disappointed with the trading post recently. I feel like it's been kind of boring. Um, we're going to get our collector's catch for our 500 tender. And let me show you guys what the monthly reward is. Thank God it's a mount because I feel like they've been going really skimpy on the monthly reward and just giving us like butterfly wings and just like lame like back pieces. But this time it is a crocodile mount. What is it called? Plunder Lord's Golden Crocolisk. It's pretty cool with the gold on it and the treasure chest quite a pirate vibe. Let's check out what they have for offer this month. Transmog set, piratey vibes. Why have they, they've just been doing the pirate stuff. Oh wow, that's the same mount but like a silver version. That's kind of cool but I don't think that I'll buy it because the one for the monthly reward for free is so similar. A little crab, kind of cute. Okay, that's actually dope. For a Forsaken character, that is pretty cool. But overall, man, I just feel like it's been really disappointing with all of the pirate vibes recently. It's all that we've been getting for, I feel like, several months. Like, can we do something more unique? I'm really not. So far, only that cool, like, back piece with the vials on it has been cool so far. They, they gotta get more creative. That's kind of cool. I do kind of like that. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing too, too exciting. There's maybe like two or three things that I might consider buying. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just get started. This month, I'm going to get right back into doing the um, pet battles where it is 200 uh, traders tender for doing 15 pet battles. I always just come out to Orgrimmar. Click on your little binoculars and track the pets if you're planning to do that one. It makes it so much easier. I used to not know that that was there and I was like, man, it's really hard to find pets. I think this usually only takes me about three minutes to complete. So really good one to do and I'll just meet you guys back here when we're done. We are going on to our last pet. Just got to find one. There we go. Here it goes. Hell yeah. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do I think I'm going to be going to Kaz Algar, like the new War Within zones, to do some stuff because there was definitely 
you know, a lot of things, complete quests, and I don't know, there was just stuff. I think for that, I'm actually gonna log out and get onto Void Mommy, my priest, because she's level 78, I think, so I may as well do some quests with her and kind of get her leveled up a bit. My plan is to just queue for dungeons. I'm basically just gonna be queuing back to back. This is the only other, like, alt I've been leveling so far, and... I've just been doing like all of the side quests, not doing the campaign. So I'm pretty much done with everything in uh, Aj Kahet. I really wanted to go there first. I like the whole vibe of the Nerubians, even though I hate spiders, but I'm mostly done with it. So I think in terms of completing some quests, I'm just gonna quest here. Um, there was also one to kill a world boss. I don't even know if that's a thing yet. Like, do they have world bosses out here yet? So I didn't even know this, but they do have a trading post here in Dornegal. That is really cool. Um, and then also I was asking in the chat if there's any world bosses to do the world boss thing, but they said when season one starts on the 10th, that's when they'll come out. So no world bosses yet. We're just going to be doing some quests and we are queued for dungeons and everything so um i'll probably just edit through this part real quick might even turn off my camera and just kind of speed through some footage so you guys can like get the vibe of what i have been up to on to adventure have a good one may the titan the first storm rider it seems Just a little update, I've been doing dungeons and quests and it's definitely taking a long time. I think I've only gotten into three or four dungeons so far and there's only a couple bosses in each one. So I'm only 10 out of 25, so it's just kind of taking a long time. And then the quest to get to 50 is gonna be a while. So I'm gonna kind of shift a little bit. It sucks that there's no world bosses yet, but I'm gonna start doing some world quests because I think that there's one for doing five of them. And then there's also one to get some of the currency. I forget what it's called, like Kej or something like that um, in Ashkahet. So I think I'm gonna do those two. And then I might also try to go to the Dark Moon Fair. I'm also really close to level 80. There we go. There's our first world quest down. This world quest is so stupid, the taking the pictures. Oh my God. Oh yeah, oh my God, I hit level 80. I didn't even realize. Oh my God, that's so funny. I was so busy like doing the world quest stuff that like I leveled up and <laughs> didn't even notice. I am also pretty sure that this is a thing, this theater. There it is. I was like, I hope that this is actually a thing. Yeah, it says complete a theater troop play. Trope play, I don't know. I think that this is the last part. And yeah, there we go. Oh, I got another one. Earn reputation. That's pretty good. I don't know how much I got for that. Probably not much. I am going to go take a little mini break. I'm going to fly to Ashkahet because I think I know how to easily get some of the Kej currency or whatever. And then we'll finish our world quests. I'm going to go heat up my coffee and maybe make some food and I will be back. There's this little like thimble guy that I'm pretty sure always leads you to a thing that has some of the Kej currency. That's what I'm going to do is just fly around until I find thimble a couple of times. All right, yeah, there we go. Thimbles catch. There we go. Hello? Oh, maybe this isn't Thimble. It's a rumor? What the hell? Oh, I did it! Obtain 100 Kej. Okay, cool. I think that there's also one to do a delve. So I'm gonna go do a delve because it's literally right over here. Oh shit, I found the delve. Okay. We're going into this one. I'm going to just do it on like easy mode because 
I just want to complete it for the sake of completing it. God, I love red and purple. Like, just the color combo is so good. This delve, I feel like it took me forever. I was like, I'm just gonna do the tier one delve. It's fine. It's easy. There we go. Complete a delve for, what, 50 points, maybe? <gasps> they should definitely give you more. Okay. This shit's been taking so long, so my new plan, because I'm almost done, I need to do four more quests. Um, and then I think that the Blightbore concert in Dark Moon Fair happens at 5.30. I thought that it was on the hour, but it's on the every half an hour. I just basically figured it would be easier to come and finish some quests on like a low level character. Plus I wanted to level her anyways, but it's so stupid and I'm so mad because um, the dungeon quests that I was doing, like the 25 dungeon bosses, we're not even going to finish that one. So pretty much the time I spent running dungeons didn't even have to happen. So that made it take so much longer. I guess I'll gather the wood, I suppose. Actually, no. Fuck that shit. I'm so ready to just be done. Here's what we're doing. We are going to... Also, goddamn, it's crazy that they just let you fly at level 10 now. You don't even have to go pay for it or anything. You used to have to, like, wait till level 40 and it would cost gold to do it, but... Oh shit, look at that. Real quick. I was gonna go scout the mine over here and turn that in, but... Oops. This quest. This will be our last one that we need. You ready? Boom. 50 quests. And now we're so close. Participate in the Blightboard concert and that'll take us there. Okay, while we're killing time waiting for the Blightboard concert, I have literally never in my life went on this. Like, I don't do Dark Moon Fair stuff. I don't know. I think I just have never understood how it works. I wish that I could go on this IRL. Oh my god. Well, that was fun. How do I get off? What the fuck? How long am I stuck on this thing? The concert is starting in less than a minute. I've literally never been here, which is so funny because this looks like my vibe. Like this really does look like something I would want to come to, but I just, I've never known. Someone needs to explain to me like how the Dark Moon Fair works. Like what even is it? You're in the right place to melt your face. Allow me to humbly introduce Blight Boar, Death Metal Knight. Am I supposed to kill him? I will prove once and for all that only a knight from the grave can rule heavy metal. I guess let's kill him. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm going back here, bro. Ah! Um, okay. Dead. Dead. Have you guys died at the Blightboard concert before? <laughs> it's like mosh pits and stuff. It's like, whoa, this concert was so hardcore that I literally died. But it's okay, I came back. Purple dance stick. Pick up a pair of purple dance sticks. What is it? Oh shit, I got dance sticks! Yo, we raving. Okay, I think that they said it takes like six minutes. Is it over? Did we do it? Oh shit! Oh my god, there it is. Okay, we did it. Trading post enthusiast. Oh my god, I got my appearance. Holy shit, what an iconic way to like end that shit. Oh my god okay let's try it on i really want to wear it on like my night elf god that's so cool these two look the same and then there's the white one the i would wear it without a helmet probably but at the same time the helmet kind of gives it a whole vibe i definitely like like the traditional may of kind of vibe we're gonna hearth real quick i'm gonna log out i have a demon hunter that i made during mop remix that i named Mayeva, like just Mayev, but with an A at the end because it wasn't taken. And I'm going to put the transmog on her and go get all the trading post stuff on her because I just feel like it'll be a vibe. We can collect all of our tender and decide what we want to buy. I guess we got the mount too. Sets. Oh, yeah. Do I have like, yeah, like these, the Sentinel's Moonglaive. Oh my god, look at how dope. Like, I'm basically Maev. Like, that's, that's about as close as it gets. It's fucking dope. I'm gonna use her on my my thumbnail. You think that Maev would be mad to find out that she, like, is a demon hunter? That's pretty good, right? Like, that's pretty, you know, like, night elf vibe. Okay, let's go 
over to the trading post. I can't even express to you how happy I am to be done. I feel like the trading post took a long time today. If you do it, pick better things to do than the things that I chose. Oh, there it is, the crocolisk. Hell yeah. There we go. I wasn't sure if it showed up on my other character. Oh my god. Maev, the warden on a crocolisk. That's pretty dope. Look at it go. I, I feel like that's pretty unique. Like, has there ever been a crocolisk mount? Maybe with, like, the deep run tram, like, the brawler's stuff, maybe? I don't know. I've never done that. That's really cool. I am gonna get this because I do like the vibe of that. I don't know if I'll, like, what or who I'll wear it on, but I do like it. We're gonna buy the green gloves. This. I do like that. We're gonna buy this one. Do I need it, though? Do I need it? Maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this because I feel like that would be really good for an Illyria transmog. I like the tattered one more than just the regular one, but let's buy the regular one too. Oh shit. Oh my god. Should I buy this? I think I froze this last month. I kind of forgot that I did. Let's go ahead. We're going to save it again just in case because next month is October and who knows how many cool Halloween things they're going to have. So I think that that's everything. Oh my god. We did it. I got my warden set finally. It's so pretty. I like the white one too. I definitely kind of want to try that on as well. It's so pretty and there's definitely pieces that I would want to use separately as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to go now. I'm going to heat up some leftover pizza. It's going to be bomb. Let me know how you found this month's trading post to be. Did you like the things? What did you buy? Did you find it hard to do this month? Like not enough event things to do? Let me know. I want to know if I'm the only one who struggled. I'm going to go now. I hope that you guys have a lovely day. Bye!